Hey, did you know for the typical Hawaii homeowner, 30 to 40% of their electricity costs every month come from the water heater. Today on High Now, we're catching up with Hawaii Energy to get some energy and money-saving tips. There's many different ways you can tackle your water heating. Um, we always say at Hawaii Energy, water heating is the biggest place to start and the most impactful. Um, so starting at the most cleanest and greenest way, it's solar water heating powered by the sun. For some people that doesn't often make a lot of sense if, you know, depending where you live or maybe even financially, we always say anything above a standard electric resistance water heater is going to be more efficient and save you energy. Getting into a new sort of technology, we talk about heat pump hybrid water heaters. Those are sort of an in-between. Um, they're a really cool way to save energy. Not a lot of people know about them too much now, so we're kind of here to talk about them today. Heat pumps are actually really ideal for the Hawaii climate because they use hot ambient air from outside the tank and they pull it in to heat the water. Um, so they actually will expel a lot of cool air, kind of like a refrigerator in reverse. So cool your space as well as heating your water at a much uh, lower power rate. Um, Energy Star certified heat pump water heaters will save you about 70 percent in comparison to a standard electric water heater so that's really big savings on your electricity bill as well okay right now we are joined by jennifer ignacio she is a homeowner out here in mililani you have one of these heat pump water heaters how has it been uh, beneficial since putting it in absolutely it's been extremely energy efficient compared to our really old uh, inefficient electric resistance water heaters so our first month bill went down about 30 percent after putting in the new water heater uh, and how has it been? Uh, th this is a different process, right, in terms of what's happening. Can you kind of just give us an idea of what's taking place since this has been here? It's, it feels the same to us as homeowners. When we want hot water, it's there. Um, it operates a little bit differently. It puts out a lot of cold air, so we did have to install some movers in the doors just to have the, the airflow. So that was the only thing that was really different for us. Um, and then it does require a condensate drain, so we just had to run the pipe to, to the drain to make sure the condensate drains properly. If someone was watching this right now and they were thinking, uh, or they're in the market for a water yeah. heater, they're debating on whether or not they should or they shouldn't get one, what would your recommendation be? How has it been for you? I would definitely say yes, especially if you want to have a smart home. So the new models do have smart home capabilities. They also have grid-connected capabilities. So if you have some of the newer models, um, the heat pump water heater, you can participate in HECO's uh, grid services program uh, for demand response and for energy balancing. Well, a lot of times people are like, I don't think about my water heater until it's broken, right? Until an emergency. The biggest thing in your home that you use, a lot of times it's gonna be that hot water because you're using it for cooking, you're using it for laundry, for shower. That's the easiest way to be green in your home if you really wanna make a big impact. Brought to you by Hawaii Energy. Aloha Mike Kako, thanks for watching the High Now YouTube channel. Hey, do me a favor, while you're here, go ahead, click that subscribe button. That way you can stay up to date with all the latest information about everything going on here in Hawaii. Where to go, what to do, where to eat, and where to shop. And don't forget, we'll see you all at highnowdaily.com.